Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I believe I'm going to title this video, The Gospel Versus the Savior. There has been a, a little controversy stirring up among a handful of us here on YouTube recently uh, about what we have to know in order to get saved. And um, I made a, several videos already about this, but I think this will be the conclusion. Uh, I've also uploaded recently a video um, by Bob Wilkin, and uh, it's titled, Does God Tell Us the Content of Saving Faith? Now, it's a long video, almost an hour, uh, but I highly recommend you watch the video because it is very comprehensive. It, sh it should really answer any questions and objections regarding uh, the viewpoint that I hold and some of the other uh, brothers here on YouTube. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to attempt today is uh, succinctly condense it uh, and uh, make it as short and simple as I can to make the point. Have you ever heard the saying, uh, it is, it's not what you know, but who you know. In life, that seems to be a, a, a truism. Uh, it's a cliche, but it is very commonly the case that you can get all the education, you can have all the qualifications, uh, but if you don't know the right people, you don't get the job. It's not what you know, but who you know. Well, I believe that salvation works exactly the same way. It's not what you know, it's who you know. You must know Jesus Christ as your Savior. You must put your faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior. And if you know nothing else, He'll save you. If you simply put your faith completely in Him to save you, He saves you. Now, I've been on YouTube for about a little over four years now. I've made a couple of hundred videos. I've remo removed some. I think I have about 130 videos up right now. And if you were to review my videos from the beginning until now, the videos I've made in my office and the videos of me preaching in the street, you're going to see that what I'm telling you today is not a new revelation uh, on my part. Uh, this is what I've been saying all along since day one on YouTube. I've been preaching that the Savior, the Savior saves you. I've been preaching faith alone in Christ alone. So uh, I invite you to look through all the videos and you'll see that uh, uh, I've always said that we get saved by trusting Jesus, period. When we rely on Jesus, when we depend on him for our salvation, he is faithful, he gives us salvation. Now, uh, we have, I, I've discovered from uh, reading and watching some of um, Bob Wilkins' material recently, that this little controversy that we have here among a few of us is really more widespread than I had ever imagined. Apparently this is a nationwide, maybe worldwide uh, debate or a controversy and division. Now, many of the people I know on YouTube, uh, we call ourselves and classify ourselves as grace believers. We are the people who say that we're saved by grace through faith. We're saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Now there are many of the YouTube uh, uh, preachers and teachers uh, who they use that as their mantra. But I'm going to challenge you now 
do you really believe that you're saved by faith alone in Christ alone? So many of us, uh, we, we've been very quick to rebuke anyone who adds any other requirements for salvation, such as repenting of sins, water baptism, turning over a new leaf, uh, um, surrendering to Jesus. Uh, you know, all, all, the list goes on and on. Things that people require, religious practices, uh, uh, that we add as a requirement to faith. So if people say that faith in Jesus Christ is insufficient to save you, and they add anything else to it, we're all real quick to rebuke them, and rightly so. But there are some, I guess I'll have to say so-called grace believers on YouTube now, that uh, we've discovered that they don't really believe in salvation by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. What they're doing is they are adding another requirement. But the requirement that they're adding is knowledge. In fact, I would say that uh, you are really Gnostics, because a Gnostic the word agnostic means uh, without knowledge. Gnostic means knowledge. And uh, a Gnostic is someone who worships knowledge. And there are many of you, I'm going to ask you to think about this and pray about it. Are you worshiping knowledge rather than the Savior? Now, I don't know anybody who's, uh, uh, and the grace, uh, grace believers uh, who uh, do not believe in a, a whole list of truths in the Bible, uh, from uh, uh, the, the concept of monotheism to the Godhead of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, to the incarnation of Jesus uh, uh, as a man, the virgin birth, all the miracles, the death on the cross for the payment of our sins, the burial for three days, the resurrection, the appearances to the apostles and others. Yes, we, we all agree. We all believe all those things are true. They're facts. But I got saved before I knew all the facts. And anybody who just simply puts their faith in the Savior, they get saved, whether they know all those facts or not. But I believe that there are some people that just love to argue and debate. And uh, there are some verses in the Bible I, I think that would apply to your, your, uh, your, methodology, your, your mindset on this. Uh, Jesus said that you strain out a gnat, but you swallow a camel. Think about what that means. Jesus said that you, you follow the letter of the law, but you do not understand the heart of the law. The Bible says some people are vain in their own conceit, Are you so full of pride that you are all puffed up with all your knowledge? Well, I'm going to conclude with just two basic ideas. I'm going to proclaim to everybody now, if it's not already clear to you, that we are not saved by the gospel. The gospel is simply the good news of all the events surrounding Jesus Christ, that he became a man, that he died for our sins, that he was buried, he rose from the dead, he appeared, he ascended to heaven, the right hand of the Father. This is all good news. And the reason we, we, um, that is so important to us is because all of those facts can give us confidence 
in Jesus as our Savior. Those are the reasons that we can trust Jesus. That justifies us putting our faith in the Savior. But we're not saved by accumulating all or part of that knowledge. We're not saved by memorizing or chanting or reciting any one or two or three verses in the Bible as a creed. We're not saved by the gospel. The gospel is the good news that we can be saved by trusting the Savior. The gospel does not save us. The Savior saves us. His name is Jesus Christ. And if you want to be saved, saving faith is simply putting your complete reliance in Jesus Christ for your salvation, depending on Him. All you've got to do is understand that you are helpless to get saved any other way, and you need Jesus as your Savior. And when you come to that conclusion, you get saved. The Savior saves. Finally, I'll just say, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, says, Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, does not say examine yourselves whether you have acquired all the knowledge necessary to be saved. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Faith alone, in Christ alone, that's the only requirement for salvation. All right. If you don't trust Jesus as your Savior, I'm going to ask you to do it now. Put your faith completely in Him. If you're adding any other requirements, whether it's repenting of sins or, or becoming a religious person, reject all that. If you're relying on um, a particular creed or a, or a gospel message to save you, reject that. That's the good news. It's not salvation. Salvation is through the Savior. Praise our great God and Savior. His name is Jesus Christ.